Both photo track here and we're going to do the second half of the wraps video here but it's really focusing on 12 volt relays and why you need to use them uh, i get a lot of emails a lot of folks are contacting me and and they they're completely mystified by the 12 volt relay and we're going to simplify it here and now for everybody uh, so that they're not afraid to use them and they use them correctly and they protect their uh, vehicle and their equipment so Let's kind of figure, you know, go over why relays are there in your car or on your vehicle or your, your tractor or whatever it is. You, you have a starter, you have lights, maybe you have a horn. Those are accessories that are run through a relay. And it's because when you activate them with an electrical current, they draw a lot of current. And if you were to just wire them to the battery, when you shut the vehicle off, those accessories are still hot. So the way to get around that is to uh, either put them on a master switch that shuts all your accessories off, or uh, the most reasonable way uh, to do it is to uh, allow your ignition to control these accessories ultimately. And uh, they're controlling them indirectly. What they're doing is you're using the ignition and you're using a low amperage electrical current from the ignition to control the relays. So we're gonna take a, a, a quick few minutes here and I'm gonna discuss how this works. And when I'm done, you really shouldn't have any more problems understanding relays. So let's get started. Uh, first, you need to have a switch. And on the switch, you can see there are three terminals. There are two aluminum terminals and the bottom one, I'm not sure if you can see it, but the bottom one uh, is brass color or I don't know, gold, I don't know, brass. It's, it, it's the, 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 the bottom terminal, there's gonna be one terminal on a three terminal switch that's marked. Sometimes they're painted, they have a, a, a black paint on them or a blue dot on them or something like that. But that terminal, and in this case, it's this, this brass terminal right here is your ground. That's all you need to know, it's your ground, okay? So that takes care of that. Now the relay, I could hold it as close to the camera as I want to and you're not going to see it, but inside the relay, we, you can see, our, uh, or on top of the relay, you can see there's three terminals and next to each terminal, there's a number, okay? And that's important because they're coded. This relay is really just an electromagnetic switch, but let's stick to the basics. So there we go, all right? Let's start out by creating an accessory, okay? So we're gonna create a light, right? This is a light, light beam's coming out. Okay, now we're also gonna start out with a ground, okay? That's a symbol for a ground and we're gonna put a ground over here, okay? Those are grounds, and grounds are easy to find because they're the frame of the unit or a metal part of, of your car or tractor, so grounds are easy to find, all right? The next thing we need to have is we need to have a battery. So let's start with a battery over here, and we have two terminals here. This one is positive and this one is negative, okay? So we are gonna just assume that you understand that all negative terminals of a battery are connected to ground, okay? So when we look at a relay, you will see that, uh, like I said before, the terminals themselves are numbered. You have the number 30 terminal, the number 85 terminal, the number 87 terminal, and the number 86 terminal, okay? So back to our diagram, we're going to draw a relay, we're gonna make it kind of big here, a lot bigger than it needs to be, okay? And we're gonna put our terminals in here, just like they are here, okay? This is the number 30, this is the number 85, this is the number 87, okay? And this one here is your number 86, okay? So it's, it's, 85, 86, 87, and 30, okay? 
It's like that on all 12 volt terminals. I don't know why it's coded that way. I'm not an electrical engineer, but that's that this is what we have. Okay. So starting from the very beginning, the way I wire 12 volt relays is the first thing I do is I take power from the battery. Okay. I run a wire with a fuse. Okay. That's my symbol for a fuse. Okay, and this could be a 20 or 30 amp fuse, okay, because we're, we're, we're pulling power through this. We're pulling real power through this, okay, and, and this is usually, I use 12 AWG wire for the high side, okay. So we take this, this high side wire and we run it directly to the number 30 terminal. That gets tied in right there, and that powers the high side of the terminal, Okay, that's going to be the power that when you turn the ignition on, it causes the contacts to close and it will take that high side power and run it out to your accessory. Okay, now let's draw an ignition. And I'll just do it with a circle with an I for ignition. And what we want to do is we want to control everything from this ignition. Okay. So we've got our high side into the terminal right there. The next thing I do is I hook up my grounds and the 85 terminal is a ground. So we bring that to ground, okay? And remember what I said about the switch in the copper or the brass or the demarcated terminal? This also ties to ground, okay? That is the bottom. Okay, that is the bottom terminal, or the demarked terminal, or the marked terminal. That always goes to ground on a uh, three terminal switch that you use with a 12 volt relay. Okay, so the middle terminal on the switch is going to go to turn on or activate, okay, it's going to activate the relay, okay? So the middle terminal goes to the number 86 terminal on the relay, all right? And, and that is ultimately what's gonna turn on your light, but we'll, we'll get over that in just a second, okay? So the next thing I do is I usually go along and get the power from the ignition. So when I turn the ignition on, there's a wire that comes out of the ignition that gets hot when I do that. And, and, and that's the wire I want to use to power my switch, okay? So we're going to take a hot wire from the ignition. We're going to come off. We're going to put a low amperage, 10 amps, maybe 5 amps, okay? Fuse in there, and we're going to come right down and we're gonna power the last terminal on the switch. Okay, so now the switch is wired, okay? Your battery part is wired, all right? The last thing that you have to do is wire your accessory, all right? On your accessory, you're going to have a wire that is hot that makes the accessory work, and you're going to have a ground wire. Okay, every accessory has two wires. So we're gonna take the ground wire and we're just gonna tie it into ground, okay? Start out by doing that. Now, you got one terminal that's left open. You have the power wire for the accessory. All you wanna do is connect this wire, again, with that 12 gauge wire right to the number 87 terminal, okay? That's all you wanna do, just connect it to the number 87 terminal. And when you turn the ignition on, you will power the switch. When you turn the switch on, you'll power the relay to close and you'll allow electricity from the battery to flow through the relay and turn your light on, okay? You're gonna use five amps of electrical current to allow 20 amps or 30 amps of electricity to power your light or your accessory or whatever it is. And if you use one relay per accessory, 
you will always have your system protected and you won't overload your ignition switch. Because I get folks who tell me they tied three or four accessories into their ignition switch and they burned out their ignition switch. Because the ignition switch is never meant to hold a ton of amperage. It's, it's meant to hold low amperage, okay? So that's your diagram, that's how it works. All right, we're going to, let's use the black marker because that's, or the blue marker because that's the most contrasted. All right, and on the relay, number 87 goes to your accessory. Okay, number 86 goes to your switch. Okay, number 85 goes to ground always, okay? And number 30, which is, you know, the oddball, that goes right to battery, okay? That's it. I can't make it any easier than that, and, and I know that you guys are smart. I know that you guys have got it figured out. This is how it works, okay? So if you have any questions or comments, don't be afraid to, to hit me up. I'll try to help you out as best as I can, like I always do, but that's 12 volt relays in a nutshell. If you have any questions or comments, I'm here. Outside of that, thanks for watching. Good luck. Godspeed. Boat Track out.